guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi BK Crown so guys we're gonna be checking out this video titled who wrote the Bible must watch amazing so let's watch guys Matthew Mark Luke and John who were they Matthew who Mark who Luke who and John who what were the last names? When did they write? Did they know Jesus Christ? Did they walk with Jesus Christ? Did they eat with Jesus Christ? Did they talk with Jesus Christ? Did they even meet Jesus Christ? The answer is no, 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 no. Conclusively. Mm. The earliest of them that wrote, wrote 40 years after Jesus Christ. So they never met him. The last of them wrote 80 years after Jesus Christ. Never met him. The other thing is, all of them seem to have written the gospel according to, according to, according to, according to. Now, when you write a letter, do you sign it according to? According to is the third party. If Joanne or Jackie or Bobby or Johnny told me something and I wrote it, I would say, according to Joanne, Jackie, Bobby, or Ronnie, according to. But those four people would not write a letter and in front of it say, Jackie, according to Jackie, and not even write a last name. Because if Jackie wrote me a check and only said Jackie, I couldn't cash it. And if I was a policeman and I stopped Jackie on the road and she had a license that only said Jackie, she's going to jail. <laughs> Where in the world is a document with only one name of four different writers that did not meet the one whom they're writing about? Where is that accepted in the whole world? Nowhere except in the Bible. And the church fathers and the church writers and the Christian historians, they all agree that perhaps those four writers themselves were only pen names. Because a writer would not write his only, his first name according to. And there's a great amount of suspicion that the man called Paul, Saul of Tarsus, that because he wrote all the books from Acts all the way to the end of the New Testament, how many books is that? How many? 16, 15, 17, 19? All the books of Acts on Colossians, Ephesians, Corinthians, Romans, Galatians, all of those books are written by whom? Paul, Saul of Tarsus, another man who never walked, who never talked, who never met, who never ate, who never prayed, who never knew Jesus Christ. Isn't that something? Now here we find four writers and another one between them that wrote all the New Testament books that never talked, never walked, never ate, never prayed, never met the man called Jesus Christ. Yet in their Words, the first mentioning of the Trinity came from where? From Jesus or from them? Huh. The first mentioning of Jesus being divine, a man God, came from whom? From them. The first mentioning that Jesus is the Son of God came from whom? From them. Huh. Jesus never said in his own words any such words, but it was the men who never met him who claimed to have written, who didn't know their last names. And Paul, by the way, before he had that vision on the road to Damascus that only he saw and only he heard, guess what his occupation was? Do you know? He was a bounty hunter, a hunter of Christians, hunting them down like animals, binding them and bringing them to where? To Rome so that they could be executed. Huh. Now if Hitler 
after killing thousands of Jews, said that on the road to Berlin, he had a vision that he was named an apostle to the Jews, and he wrote 20 books that all the Jews are supposed to follow. Do you think they would be following that book? I don't understand how people just don't read history. This is not what Khalid said, so don't get angry with me. This is your own scripture, your own Bible scholars, their own church fathers, all of them agree that Paul never met Jesus, that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John never met Jesus. By the way, they were not disciples. Huh? Nor were they walkers and talkers of the disciples. They were just writers and historians. Well, it's being right that Paul is not one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, but Matthew and John, they are disciples of Jesus Christ, but Paul was never a disciple of Jesus Christ. A majority of the passages, he wrote them. Paul wrote them. So I understand this man's point of view. He's trying to say that how come someone that was never close to Jesus Christ in any way was never his disciple that, that did not dine and wine with him, how can he able to write so much about Jesus Christ? But at the same time, John actually wrote the Revelation. John was the last disciple that died among the disciples of Jesus Christ. And maybe, I'm, I don't know, maybe he got some confirmation from John, and John wrote some part of the book. So at least we have somebody that also witnessed Jesus, you know, um, living, that, that witnessed him when he was, he was alive, when he was on earth. So um, this was really nice. I kind of un uh, understand very well from his point of view and this is amazing i think i need to you know meditate more on this very well because half of it are really true what you said are really true but apart from that the ones i just mentioned i think that's how it is so thank you so much for watching guys Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye